the start of the Big Bang, there was a podcast created, possibly the world's greatest. And they said upon to the world, Oh, shit. Hello and welcome to another episode, or possibly the first, depending on what order I put them up in, of Trio and Error. Trio and Error. Uh, I'm uh, Neil and this is John. Say hello, John. Hello. I'm and John. joined by a special guest, special being the key word here. <laughs> Excuse it's, me? <laughs> it's my good friend, Mark. <laughs> Would you like to introduce yourself, Mark? Oh, um, I'm Mark. Hey. <laughs> hey. Uh, and today we are going to be doing the worst methods of transport. Yeah. Now, I, I, I want to get a, a, something across here. Like, when we say methods of transport, do we literally mean just like cars, vehicles, and planes, or do we can, can it be like running sideways? No, I, I, I think it's. We all know buses, cars, and planes can be hell of annoying, and I, I, I'd like to think we've chosen some more interesting. Okay, okay, well, um, I'll tell you what, if, uh, I'll go last, and if John, you go first, that leaves Mark to have a nice Neil and John sandwich. Bit weird. Aw, cuddly. <laughs> <laughs> kind of scary. Get myself into. Oh, I dread to think. Right. Okie dokie. Uh, okay, so my, my first choice is, um, I, I guess I don't know if it's my, it's my least worst, um, Number one you, is you can't. You have, <laughs> I agree. It's with not Mark. up yet, Mark. I agree. Oh. With Mark. We are. We are that. Dis- <laughs> it's a giant bee, and there's a cat riding on it. <laughs> X. So you're. <laughs> now, right. Now I'm interested to think why you think a giant bee would be um, a terrible thing to uh, to ride. No, okay. Right. So comfortable. Imagine something like a giant wasp. Now giant wasps are awesome. But, I mean, when I think of bees, I think that you're drawing a butterfly now. Oh, it's a moustache. Um, he, we're turning you into a Mexican. <laughs> I think bees are just ridiculous. They, they, they bumble about, the bumblebees. They, they can't fly straight. Science doesn't understand them. Uh, maybe a wasp would be really cool. You'd be like, in a fighter jet, but a bee is like the equivalent of riding some kind of, I don't know, Wall of fur that bounces along in midair. It, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> I, I think you're missing a, a a really really bad idea because that cat is a normal cat. Yeah, that's not like a giant cat. It's a normal cat. Yeah, that's a normal cat. Which means that bee is the size of a car. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I I think a bee the size of a car would be terrifying, even if it's just a bee. <laughs> I, I don't know. What's your views, Mark? Um. Well, the cat seems to be enjoying itself. <laughs> it actually could be sodomising the bee. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not with you on that one. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. What you don't think a bee is a, a good, a, well, a, a bad mode of transport? They, they're awful. They can't fly for crap. You, you'd get car sick just like trying to get anywhere. Come on, John. Look at his hat. He looks mighty <laughs> professional. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. We have missed a key. We have turned in Mexican, but do you know what we haven't done? Turned in no. pirate. <gasps> <laughs> there you go. I'm sorry. No, I'm not giving you that one. Pirate bees, man. Well, it, it's obviously not us to us. It's not down to us. It's down to the fans. But personally, I, I think I think that was a weak start. A weak start. Right. Well, it's the least. It's the least one. There we go. All right. I'll uh, go down yes. to Mark now then. Oh. Hey. Mm. Yes. Wait. I thought I was in the middle. What about John's second one? Oh no, we do we do one second, third to first, if that makes sense. So uh, we'll go with you now. Right. Um. um Caught my guard. Brilliant. My my thing is. Well, I'll tell you when it's uploaded, and then you can explain why. Because <laughs> this program is weird. <laughs> oh. Okay, here we go, and it yeah. is. It's a loading image sign. That is a fucking oh, method of Look how it's, quick it's, it's going. It's quite spinny. Oh my god! <laughs> it's a nuke! You see, it'll be really good for the first minute. But then after that, you probably want your money back. And your limbs. But my question is, right, you think that that's a bad thing. That tortoise is having the time of his life. <laughs> and look at this cloud. This cloud is like... Oh my god, I wish I was on a nuke! And this one's just like, he's just like, 
Holy crap, where can I get one? You see, like... It, people will look at you in awe. Yeah. They, they will be like, wow. It, yeah, it's really fun, but it's really fun for like a minute. But you would have but... the best ride of your life. <laughs> the only ride of your life. <laughs> Fair enough, I, I can see how that could be awesome and then sucky, thus making it a very bad mode of transport, but also awesome. I don't know, I, I, could, I would be quite happy with, with a nuke. I don't, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, there's a fine line on that one. If you want to clear the board, mm-hmm. I'll hit you with yep. the third. Okay, now, I, I can see me getting uh, red carded instantly for this one, I don't know why. Yeah. But my worst method, my third, so this isn't too bad. Yeah. Okay, but this annoys me, okay? When you're at parties and things like that, this is the key time it will happen, okay? Conga line. Conga line. Oh, God. You, you, if you're not at the front, you're not going the right direction. <laughs> you're not going where you want. If you want to go to the bar, you're going in the wrong way, okay? <laughs> and they get bigger and bigger, making them harder to manoeuvre. So, yeah, and it could be like 20 minutes before you get across. Yeah. So there we go, that... That, that... What we've got... Oh, no, now he's got laser visions. <laughs> yeah, lasers would make that sucky. Yeah. No, why, why else would you think we would red, red card you for the conga line? Conga line's a horrendous way to transport. I don't know, I just, I just... That's why I had to clear it up with the methods of transport earlier and how it... How ah, it yes. It. I suppose so. Look, man, there's fire everywhere. <laughs> So conga lines are good as long as somebody has laser vision. That's that we've for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's an alien invasion. <laughs> and that's that is they're jealous. And is, that, is that the aliens oh, are jealous of the conga line, or they're actually controlling the conga line? Maybe aliens control all conga lines. Yes, mm. maybe they do. The person at the front doesn't know where it's going. <laughs> See, Wait, gov- is government there a front corrupt. to this conga line? Actually, I think, uh, I think this conga line just goes in one massive circle. Mm. In which case, they're fucked. Yeah, well, it's never ending. It comes into some kind of strange infinite loop. You'll get into some kind of time paradox, and it'll be the end of the world. And uh, more, more importantly, there is one thing that's got my attention. is On a conga line, you, you kind of hold on to each other, and if you look at this guy here, he's actually pushing that small child. <laughs> Wow. So I, I don't think that's a conga line. I think that's like forced slave labour. <laughs> He's the only one touching a child. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Conga lines, bad method of transport, and can get you arrested. I know, right? Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. I think we should uh, move to <laughs> Mr. John. Oh, what, for you? number... Oh, God, number two. two. Yeah, of course. Right, that's clear and... Lovely. Um... Hit the button. Should have really prepared this a bit quicker, you know. Um, well, I've got kind of two pictures of this. I don't know which is going to look better. But now, in the future... Hello. I am all up. Or flying cars, flying everything. It's cool. Mm. Yeah? But... This would work. No, I, I don't think nothing works, so... Okay. Uh, nope. Uh, you know, there'll always be... The oh, that of, is so lame! Uh, right? I think the scooters are like the bane. They're noisy and, and they're just, they're terrible. Right now, fair enough, you know, 60s mods, awesome, very cool. But, no. I mean, in the future, could... there'll be awesome jet bikes, but there'll also be rubbish hover scooters. The thing is, I think with a few alterations, I mean, we could get like a gun mount here. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, like a, we could pump out that engine, like a pimp my, uh, pimp my <laughs> scooter. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, uh, on the top, you could have like a stereo, and you'd be like, like that. Really, John? Really? Yeah. Scooters? Flying some... scooters? Yeah, it's just I, the kind of attitudes that goes towards it. They'll, and they will be the same amount of noisy, underpowered, rubbishy things that they are today. Just hover scooters. But you're hovering. Look, man, he's, he's got laser. That's just a floodlight. <laughs> Best damn floodlight ever. Then seen. Why, why has he got two floodlights? Do they normally have? Do they normally have? Is one just a light and one the floodlight? Is that how they normally work? Maybe I don't know. I've I've never owned one. That's my hatred. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, no, no, they're just a little bit poncy, a little bit just no. Vespers. You're flying. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying there'll be all the other cool vehicles for flying, but 
not a Vespa kind of thing, not a scooter. It's not cool. It never. It, it, it's, there's always going to be like the subclass of vehicle. Look, you get an extra DS screen. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That would make my uh, Vespa experience. <laughs> oh, fine, I've clearly been better. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I think Mark's doing a lot of uh, big talking here, so I think he's going to have something very, very good to top this. Because <laughs> I will admit, it's, oh. it's rubbish. Hmm. Is that your other picture you had? No, it wasn't funny enough, but it was one I was looking at earlier. Oh. Weird. Here's one you made earlier. Yeah, but like I hadn't even saved that. That's odd. Oh, well. Okay. So come on, Mark. Oh. Um, well, my one is like my first one. Like... <laughs> At first, it'll so be really it good. An atom bomb. <laughs> <laughs> at, at first, it'll be amazing, and you'll have the best time of your life. But then it'll get to around lunchtime, and <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> might take a turn for the worst, and your ride may try to kill you. You are forgetting the fact you will be riding a giant dinosaur. What you need is, that there used to be a show called uh, Dino Riders, and all you need is like, that yeah, little harness here, little, little like mind control probe, boop, 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 and you've got yourself a dinosaur to ride. <laughs> I like the mind control probe there. Ah, <laughs> uh, but it's not very safe, man. Think, think of uh, this guy. Would you have to have like a saddle around it or something? I mean, would you have to... It looks like some kind of milking apparatus you've just made there. <laughs> That's because the hand's in the way. I don't want to cut it up. <laughs> uh, not, see, not that we already did. He's wet himself. He has. <laughs> you just can't see it because he's wearing all black. See, I, I, it's I, very I think, cunning. I think you missed the trick here because, although riding a giant dinosaur is risky, what you're forgetting is this car is... Uh, let's, let's change the, the thing. This car that he's got is stuck on this stupid rail... So what you've got is a car that only travels one direction. No, no, no. I, w I was talking about the car all this time. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, then, yeah. So when I said riding a giant dinosaur, I meant riding a giant dinosaur car. Ah, okay. It is the car that has pictures of dinosaurs in it. I think riding a dinosaur would be awesome. I, I do. Although, to be honest, while it's, we're, it, while it, we're it on the subject... sounds like a good thing of riding things. This <laughs> this could yeah. bring me to my next one. If you want to clear that out. Alright, shall we clear it? Yeah, yeah, you might as well. Do we clear it? Because riding mm. things is awesome, okay? Yeah. Like, riding giant bees, riding uh, dinosaurs is great. But this, I tell you, if I saw someone riding this in the street, I would slap them. A space hopper. <laughs> <Bit of B. laughs> space hoppers are amazing. <laughs> But you're not gonna get very far. Look at this. This copper behind is just like. Uh, uh, do I do I pull her over? What, what, what should I do? Let's not make eye contact. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe what he's gonna do is he's lining it up to clothesliner in the back of the head. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a flag <laughs> over there. There's a flag over there. So obviously he is escorting her. Yeah, it is an orange flag. So, and it is an orange space offer. <laughs> okay, so space up as a call as long as you've got police following you. <laughs> yeah, man. Yes. As long as there's police. Oh, so you, you you say, way. I've already been red flagged. That, I'm being disqualified because there's already a flag on the screen. Oh, I, I have to agree that it is a pretty horrendous mode of transport. Mostly because it's dated, I think. But it was it was fun for a while, and and it's, it's now not. <laughs> and now everyone's got a space hopper at home. Yeah, I've got one. With a tear. Because <laughs> they're so unused. <laughs> mm. No, I'm... I'm I don't... It's, it's, they're fun, too. Like, space hoppers. If and someone says to you space hopper, you go, yeah! But then it takes a minute for you to go, oh. And you're saying a giant bee isn't fun to ride. Yeah, but you would rather be ride rubbish. a space hopper than a giant bee. If I could ride any giant insect, it would be like a dragonfly or a wasp or something amazing, not a bee. It's just, my point is that bees are useless flyers. They they swerve. They're weird. They're very. I guess they're very fluffy. That's like a, a pro, you know. That I, I do. 
Mm, I, 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 don't, I don't know. It's still, they're still better than a dinosaur, I tell you. <laughs> what, what? A space hopper's better than a dinosaur? Oh, no, no, I meant the bee. The bee. Oh. Yeah. The bee's better than... What do you mean the bee's better? As, Dino- as, as in the worst. I would rather ride a dinosaur than I would a bee. Yeah. So in that case, it's good. Mm. Because it's the worst. Right. Uh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I said we go to the final one, but no, I'm, I'm disappointed in your selection so far. So, oh, thanks. Yeah, right. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> However, if, if your number one's what I think it is, I'm coming around and punching you in the nuts. You know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's all. It's all. It's all good. <laughs> I don't know, Mark. Have, have you got a good number one to back this up? Um. No. I kind of use my best first. Uh. <laughs> and I'm desperately looking in Google Images now for a third picture. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing it on the fly. I like it. I like yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Three I'm months. Yeah. points. That are you uploading, John? Or? Yeah. I, uh, I I can do. Yeah, I think. I think right, I think I will. Okay. We'll, we'll let Mark look, and then. I wish you and uh, my is it okay? Yeah. Oh, fair enough. My number one worst ever, as. Tradition holds. Llamas! It'll have to be this fella. <laughs> an alpaca. <laughs> Very closely related to the llamas. It's, but so more stupid. it's not a llama, it's an alpaca. What's, what's the difference? Apart from this one is a badass. <laughs> oh god, loading image, what's happening? You've activated my trap card, John. Llamas are awesome. <laughs> oh, That's actually really bad, but I got the reference. I <laughs> know. <laughs> I, I think that, that llamas are pretty cool. Yeah, dude. Why, wow. why are they bad? Like, no, okay, right. Have to back this up now. Well, okay. Generally, with horsey type creatures, my, my friend had to ride on a donkey down a mountain because he messed I, up his foot. I've ridden I a donkey. They're awesome. Not no, no. Like camels. He said it was awful. Yeah. Not, not as good or not as bad as camels. I know, camels are amazing. Really? Yeah. Because I've, I've heard people say that they're like worse than most. Oh, if you, well, it depends, because you can ride it between the hump or you can get, like, a big deck chair that's customised. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> just sit it on top, yeah, kind of yeah. perched upon that. No, no, these you things... Just they, cram it on the hump and... They spit, it. they're smelly, and, and it's uncomfortable. But even though they look adorable. Makes so, them awesome. So, so, so is the train. People spit on that, and they all <laughs> spit. <laughs> I've never seen someone spit on the train. <laughs> right. Next wait time minute, you come minute. here, I'm going to wait outside the train and spit <laughs> at you when you come. <laughs> Just open the door, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> that's the kind of welcoming I expect from you most days, though. <laughs> well, that's okay, then. That's okay. <laughs> All right, Mark, have you managed to find something that can beat a llama? Cause, yeah. Well, there's a million right. things that can beat a llama. Right, screen cleared. <laughs> right, here we go. Here we go. It's already been validated. He's, he's rustling. He's some, bringing something real. It is the train! <laughs> ah, you, you go on the train and then Neil comes along and spits at you while <laughs> posting pictures of llamas. <laughs> yep, I'll agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> you see, see uh, I, I purposely didn't take train because it was quite an obvious one, but now you've put up train, I don't think my number one could beat a train. No, really? My, my number one is bad, but... I know what trains are like. <laughs> I know what trains are like, man. They'll mess you up. How seasick but... this person has got from going on the train. <laughs> yeah, that happens sometimes <laughs> at train rides when <laughs> you get seasick. See? Choo choo! <laughs> no! <laughs> Stop over here! <laughs> We're putting wheels on this boat, damn it! <laughs> we'll, we'll, just, we'll just extend it. So, one minute, we got a. Uh, and then. There you go. No, nobody would ever know. <laughs> It's that's, true, that's just the track. She's taking <laughs> at a funny angle. She got off the train and now she's that's falling on the track. And, yeah. and this, hang on, where's my pen on? This, this isn't water. This is actually sick. <laughs> oh right, lovely. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's how bad wait, that train was. <laughs> it is. It is. I sick. do remember a channel crossing that was quite terrible. I mean, like I, I don't know. I, I, I'd, I'd, I'd done a few sort of boat things before so it was alright but a lot of people got very ill and it was really choppy <laughs> yeah they're, all, they're always quite cold however I think you are missing 
indicate, in my opinion, pièce de résistance of travel. Okay, the single worst way to travel. If I can get you to clear the board and make way. <laughs> I'm making way. I am okay. making way. Did either of you, when you were younger, watch Gladiators or American Gladiators? As in the on the first whistle. Yep, yep. Because yep, yep. I think the atmosphere. <laughs> How is that bad mode of transport? That's awesome. Because <laughs> you've got to push it. You've got to stand in there and run. You're in a giant hamster wheel. But it's like worth the effort. Surely, look at it. How many points you can rack up? <laughs> See, and uh, everybody I know when you were younger was always just like, all you need to do is like, put some spikes on it. And the problem is, you just you'd embed the spikes. <laughs> you'd stop. You'd just go, near. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there's, there's nothing you can do with that to make it cool, apart from get a giant hamster, perhaps. <laughs> Why not? Just fill it with hundreds of small hamsters. I don't know. That one's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yeah. See? Awesome. That looks pretty deadly, man. Swing! Swing! It looks like Look, a... It's already killed that guy. Look at all the blood. Look at all the blood. <laughs> it looks like a rejected Pokemon now. It is It is a rejected Pokemon. Yeah. It was called um, Orbimon and mm. Orby Spikemon. Uh, Orby Spikemon. <laughs> <laughs> no, those things look awesome. Though I kind of agree with the physical effort involved. Mo- mo- most transport should be like, well, I get here, I push a button, slash just pay for it, and go away to distant lands. Oh, I don't know. Well, um, obviously we'll leave it up to uh, for everybody to decide, but personally... Vote for me! I'm new! <laughs> I need your vote, please! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, well, no matter what, I, I think John's watched this one. I mean, come on, llamas and giant bees. Oh, it- B! It's a rubbish thing! I tell, you, I tell you what, if you win this, we are not doing any more episodes. <laughs> That's, it. That's, That's not fair! It was designing. The people are instantly going to not. That's mean. <laughs> I, I, I would resign undefeated, but this would have just defeated me, so uh, it would have... <laughs> Broken your track record. <laughs> Which is currently nothing. So there we go. If you want to give us uh, a quick rundown of, uh, of what your top three were again, John, and uh, we'll see what people... Um, yeah, sure. It was the giant bee, yep. which I'm still quite adamant. You know, what, what, my, my other one was actually like a real mode of transport, and I, it, it was going to be Healy shoes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? I mean, the, the, look at them. Like, I tried to find the ones with the coolest design as well, and it still looks odd and... I don't know. I, know, I never understood the heat issues. Mm. Just, just no. No one has all the stuff over it. Anyway, <laughs> um, so <laughs> heat issues. Uh, giant bee, even giant bee. Sorry, I'm just reminding myself because I've actually forgotten. Flying Vespa. Flying Vespa. Come on, it, it's a Vespa. Other flying stuff. Cool. Flying scooter. Bad. It flies. That's the thing I'm. Uh, I'm thinking of. Hey, this is when you have the choice of other cool flying stuff. Cars, motorbikes, whatever. Hoverboards, everything, but the scooter, the the, the equivalent of rubbish. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. What were your uh, three again, Mark? Um, I don't remember. Something about flying giraffes. Oh, that oh. was that was a dinosaur. That's that cool. That, that was that. It, uh, there you go. It's cool. You just admit it. You just. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not too cool when they try to eat you. Mm. Uh, think about that. <laughs> You're just having a nice stroll in the park, then suddenly, oh no, dinosaur attack! All right. Well, line work, conga line, space hopper, atmosphere from gladiators. I think we'll uh, leave that to the public to decide. But I think I'm pretty secure in our victory here. <laughs> no man, not a chance. All I'm gonna say. Anyway, uh, stay tuned for next episode. Hooray! What, uh, what are drawn? The jellyfish. Oh. Can I change one of mine to a jellyfish? They have terrible stingers, and it's just terrible. You no, just get... Not die, anymore. If it, was, if it was a giant dinosaur jellyfish, then I would have let you have it. But too late, man. Jellyfish too. It's not a gelatinous cube. It can't just absorb <laughs> people. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much for joining us, Mark. And, yes. Uh, you're welcome. We'll get you back on another time, I'm sure. Yay. Mm. However, if you, if you win, then we won't. Got to keep up. Oh, man. Everyone vote for me if you hate me. <laughs>
Also, if you don't, vote for me as well. Cheers, support. <laughs> Alright then, well, it's uh, goodbye from us. Yeah, goodbye. Bye. Say goodbye, John. I did just say goodbye. Blah, 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 goodbye. <laughs>